All right, let's play this in full first. There's no sound. <laughs> Making my own sounds here. And... <laughs> Bing! And... That. Now, this was for the Anim Challenge... Uh, submission. That's a word. That's it. That is a word. Now, it's very cool. My main comment would be just on timing. I think there's some cool stuff. Um, I would say I'm always a big fan of just involving more of the body, even if it's cartoony, even if it's in a subtle way. So when you have your arm moving, especially towards the end, because here you see a bit of a downwards move on in the head. It's a fantastic arrow on the head here. But then once you go back, it still feels like there is a complete disconnect between what the arm is doing and how the arm is affecting the rest of the character even though it's cartoony i don't know i would still add a feeling of that the shoulder gets pulled back and then the chest turns in wide a little bit with an ever so slight move through here like, like you can keep this dead but imagine there's there's basically energy coming from that arm movement that then fans down into here and you can imagine there's a lot of movement in the shoulder with a little bit in the chest and it really just fades out into nothing but I would still add just a little bit. Uh, it just gives you... It to me feels like the character feels more connected. So there's just more... Um, there's just more to it in terms of character being alive. I know this is... this is You can get very, very... Um, you know, minimalistic in terms of animation. But if I look at the end, when you have all of this here, this is not... Like pose to pose, you know, Bokoyo style, where it just kind of pops from from one thing to the next. You have smooth transitions, transitions. You have arcs. You have easins. You can see it in the fingers. So there's there's a lot of detail here. Now you might argue maybe this character now in this state is more animated and has more details, more lifelike, and this is more cartoony. Maybe I mean that could be an argument, but it's it's a hard sell because I don't see it. Um, you know, I don't see that progression. I don't know if that's very clear, if that is an intention. So to me, it feels like you want to add more stuff here. And then you can see it as you go through that. So when he drinks, same thing here. There's just that's a it's a bigger move. And even this could have a little bit in here and a little bit in the shoulders and the chest, and even the head could come up just a little bit on that closing of the mouth. So to me, those are just the little things, and even just that. It's, it gets so minimal um, that I would either leave it like this, but then simplify that in terms of the style, just like here. Um, but again, this all kind of depends if that was intended to be super minimal and that a bit more fluid and advanced. And going through this here, you know, it'd be, it'd be stuff like that. It just, it just seems so cut off in terms of you know this section there's animation the rest is not because you might argue you can go into hotel t type of style all through here but then it just means just that the change through what this is but again i mean again i'm said this a couple of times now but there, there can an argument an argument can be made between well that's one style and you can see it in the in the design versus this totally different is design a bit more realistic <clears throat> so the animation could be also more realistic. So I'll leave that up to to you if you want to change that. But going back to the original comments, let's pretend we leave the animation how it is, right? It's all cool. I like all this. You got the twirl, pause, and then like, the timing is cool here. I like that. You got the pause and then whoop. Hmm. All of that is cool. Once you get into the transformation, it just feels a bit one, two, three, four, five, six, and boom and that's it so to me it feels like i would just vary up the timing here so, so it's almost like you can go into this one big thing and it's almost like you can hold this with potential uh you know there could be some shakiness that could be like one big thing of what is this ah and then blah, 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 blah. so they have like one big one pause and this is just a different rhythm where these guys could be fast as fast maybe into that last one last one holds into into this where you wouldn't hold this as long but it would be more like like i said hold long 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 hold long long and then do a faster move of this 
But then once you're in here, now be careful, maybe not have that two twin there. He comes and looks at this. The thing is, again, it's hard to know in this, but he seems very inquisitive. Hmm, I wonder what's going on here. And then he goes, hmm, wondering, hmm, what is going to happen? And then this happens. So my question is, is this what he expected? Or do we want to push this a bit further where... But basically it looks like, here's one hand, look at my other hand, and I'm okay. Could this be a bit more, like, holy moly, and then maybe you look at that hand, but then you straighten the fingers out, and maybe you make a fist and straighten out again. And then he maybe it just looks down, and it's a bit more exaggerated pose where, uh, imagine, that's, that's a horrible pose there, but imagine... <laughs> He looks down you know, at his feet and then maybe brings up one foot. Imagine leg is here. So maybe looks at his foot or or taps his body and maybe squeezes the hips. Like, oh, what's going on? I totally changed. Maybe he wants to pull on his body a bit. And then that ends would then tell us, well, is he happy? Like if you take the face off, it's kind of a default thing. So the end could be like, yes or holy moly or oh no. or just Something where to me you want to push the, you know, telling the audience how he feels basically when I, I would push that more he seems a bit there's one hand there's one hand all right and then that's it and i think you could yeah i feel like you could push that a bit more but again this was for an item challenge so i'm sure there was time restrictions and shot length restrictions and all that stuff so it's not like you can just add whatever you want in there but if you if you wanted to continue on this shot these would be my thoughts it's totally up to you as always to do what you want to do with them other than that, uh, I like it. So fun rigs. Some nice poses. It's fun stuff that you can do there. And I like that transition into, into this guy too. How the legs change and all that. It's neat. So yeah, I mean, if you want to, you know, to put more in there where potentially instead of a gradual thing, no, this is very tricky, but you know, maybe the legs maybe the feet turn black first into this and then shoo, as is done here maybe the hands would be you know the white cuffs and uh, and that would be the last thing and maybe shoo, the arms straighten out and then pow, and then the, the fingers are the last thing to change and maybe that cuff comes off shoo, and then who disappears i think maybe if you want to polish this up that transition through here could be a bit more interesting a bit more complex um but again that's totally up to you anyway i'm starting to ramble so i'm gonna leave it here let me know email me uh your thoughts how you want to proceed you just want to get one critique for this or if you want to make any changes all right thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you